everybody? It's Bobby93 MacBoy. Just a real quick video for you guys today. Um, today, I'm going to be telling you guys the best apps that I think all starting Mac users should use. Even if you've been using Macs your entire life or if you're just transferred to a Mac, I'm going to be telling you guys some of the applications that I think are essential for all starting Mac users to use and will make your time using a Mac a lot easier and a lot more efficient. So, the first one, I just made a list earlier, so I'm just going to go straight down the list. The first one is an application called RightZoom. Now, if you're switching over for Windows, this will be this will make it a lot more like of a familiar interface for you so what you do is you'll download this application I'll try to put the link in the description if not you can just look around for it what you do is uh, you make this item a login like start at login item which you can do in your system preferences under account and so you make it so that this application opens at login and it doesn't show up in your dock it doesn't even show up in your menu bar but pretty much what it does is you see this green plus button right here Normally when you click on that with a Mac, it will make the window as big as it needs to be in order to uh, fit all the icons. But with right zoom, it makes every window and almost every application fill the entire screen, which is a lot easier to use and makes it a lot more comfortable to use. Um, and if you click it again, it'll bring it right back to the size it was originally at. So instead of having to go in your applications and clicking the plus button to make it fill however big it is, you can just have it so it fills the entire screen and then put it right back the way it does. It makes it a lot uh, very similar to using a PC how when you click the button it fills the whole screen. So if you're transferring uh, Mac or to a Mac and you want to just kind of have that familiar interface then that's a good application for you. Check it out, link in the sidebar. Next application I'm going to be showing you guys is called VLC. Now pretty much what VLC, uh, as some of you guys may know, hold up, as some of you guys may know Macs use a different video format um, than uh, PCs do. So as you guys know, there's like Windows Media Video or something, I forgot what it's called. And then there's QuickTime Movies, which is what Apple uses. Now what VLC will let you do is play all different types of video formats um, and also some video shows that you can find, like you can look in the media library. Just all different types of video within one player. It's, it's pretty good. It's not. I don't think it's as good as QuickTime, but QuickTime doesn't let you play all different types of formats. But that is actually what I'm talking about is playing video formats. That is where I'm going with my next application. You guys should just download this application. All Mac users should have it. So I'll just put the link in the sidebar. I think it's free. So that is VLC. But the next application, which I've been using since I started using a Mac, is called Flip for Mac. So, whoops. Flip for Mac. Okay. There we go. So pretty much what it is is... Um, it makes it so that if you get a video with WMV or Windows Media Video or whatever it stands for, if you get like an email with that kind of video embedded from somebody who uses a PC and they didn't know to switch it to QuickTime format or something like that, this application will let you uh, see the video as if it's QuickTime. Uh, right in within the same window so this is very seamless it's in the background it's always worked for me I love this application it's very lightweight I definitely definitely recommend this for all Mac users no matter how long you've been using a Mac or no matter what else you use this is definitely a great application to have and the link will be in the sidebar so the next application I'm gonna tell you guys is called App Zapper, and I know I've done a video on this before this is more for the people who like to uh, download lots of applications, but pretty much what App Zapper does. Hold on, let me. Pretty. This is the icon right here, App Zapper. It's a little gun. This is not a free application, but I have a video showing you how to get it for free. So just check that out. Um, it might not be up here for that long because I might get in trouble for that, but. Pretty much what App Zapper does is it allows you to delete any application completely. Now I know if you guys have applications on your computer and you don't want them anymore, you'll drag them to the trash and just click empty trash, but that doesn't completely delete the application. So what App Zapper does is you take the application you don't want anymore, drop it in the little bar, it'll show you all the different files on the computer that are associated with that application, and then you click zap and it gives you a cool zappy noise and it is completely gone in the trash can. There you go, that was the zap noise. And as you guys see, it will be in my trash can down here. Concierge is what I just deleted. So, <coughs> a 
that is App Zapper. It's a great application. I've used it all the years I've been using Macs. I definitely recommend it. Go check it out. Link in the sidebar or just go look at my other video. So the next application I'm going to be talking to you about, and I think this is, no, I've done a video on this before too. It's called Get To. Actually, I have it right in my doc. Right here. This is one of my definitely most frequently used video er, uh, applications, Get To, but I actually used it today. And all you pretty much do, all this lets you do pretty much is um, download any YouTube video on YouTube that isn't protected for free. And there's multiple different formats. You can get it MP4, AVI, MP3, and FLV. You can choose the destination, download in high quality if it's possible, and check for updates. It's a great application. It works with Firefox and Safari. By the way, another application you guys should get is Firefox because I'll just go over that in a second. So, um... Yeah, GetTube, great application. Uh, you can get any music on YouTube that isn't protected. Now, I thought before when I started using this application that you could get any music on YouTube for free, no matter what it was. But then I noticed with certain songs, when I click on the Safari icon to start the download and to look for it, it'd load the song and it would um, just download it in like half a second when it usually takes like a like maybe a minute to download a song and there was no file being downloaded so what I realized was that the songs that were protected or had like an advertisement on it if you saw a little advertisement on the song when it says like download this at iTunes or Amazon or wherever the you can download it from if it has some sort of little advertisement or the person putting it up is a YouTube partner and you can tell if there's an advertisement on their video page um, if they have some sort of protection on it, then you will not be able to, to download it, which is kind of a hassle, and I don't know how YouTube did that, but I'm sure there's ways of getting around it, but I haven't found one yet. So, um, yeah, but GetTube gets like 99% of the shit on YouTube for free, so it's pretty cool. You can download your favorite videos, stuff like that. Great application for starting Mac users who want who watch a lot of videos on YouTube. Check it out, link in the description. Now, um... I have two more applications. The next one is Firefox. Now, this is just another browser that is used by PC users and um, Mac users. It is a good browser. I don't like it as much as Safari, so that's why it's not my main browser. But as long as I've used it, I've never really had any problems. I just don't like the interface as much as I like. Um, whoa. Just, uh, okay, so I'm just going to X out of this. I just don't like the interface as much as I like um, Safari, so that's why I don't use it. But, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a good, uh, it's a really good browser. So, and plus, some stuff, like some web pages aren't formatted to be viewed on Safari, which is a very big hassle. So, um, if you can't look at it in Safari, then you will be able to view it in Firefox like 9 out of 10 times. So... That's just another advantage of having two browsers. You don't have to use it all the time, but it is a good browser. So that actually is all I have for you guys. Now I'm going to do another video right after this on um, just some of my best, my favorite Mac preferences and tweaks and stuff like that. So this is Bobby93MacBoy. If you like my videos, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.